Welcome to a unique journey through time and space. Today, we'll explore 10 ancient technologies that defy understanding in modern science. These enigmas of the past transport us to forgotten civilizations and challenge us to question what we really know about human history. Riddle number one, the Nazca Lines. The immense figures and lines etched into the ground, visible only from the sky, represent a lost technology. The Nazca Lines are a set of giant geoglyphs located in the Nazca Desert in southern Peru. These lines were created by the Nazca culture, an ancient civilization that lived in the region between 200 BC and 200 BC and 600 AD. Geoglyphs are huge drawings that stretch for hundreds of meters and take on the shapes of animals, plants, humans, and geometric objects. They were created by removing the top layer of soil, exposing the lighter soil below, which contrasts with the surrounding landscape. The mystery surrounding the Nazca Lines is related to the purpose of their construction. It's unclear why the Nazcas created these impressive geoglyphs, but some theories suggest they could have astronomical, ritualistic, or water and agriculture significance. The Nazca Lines are a popular tourist attraction and were also designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994 due to their archaeological and cultural importance. It is important to emphasize that the preservation of these lines is a challenge and measures are taken to protect them from damage caused by tourism and the environment. Riddle number two, Stonehenge. The construction techniques and exact purpose of the stones at Stonehenge in the UK have been the subject of speculation and study. Stonehenge is an ancient megalithic monument located on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England. It is one of the most famous and enigmatic archaeological sites in the world and one of the most visited tourist attractions in the UK. The monument is made up of a series of large standing stones in a circular and ellipse-shaped arrangement. The stones are made from sandstone and volcanic rocks known as bluestones and were transported from distant locations, some of them over 400 kilometers away. Stonehenge was built in stages over thousands of years, starting around 5,000 years ago in the Neolithic period. It is believed that the first structures were erected around 3100 BC, while the final construction phase took place around 1500 BC. Stonehenge's exact purpose remains a mystery. Many researchers believe that the site had a religious or ceremonial function, possibly related to the worship of the sun, moon, and other celestial bodies. The monument's astronomical features, such as marking the summer and winter solstice, suggest a possible link to astronomical observations. Stonehenge has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1986 and has been the subject of study, research, and speculation by archaeologists, historians, and enthusiasts for centuries. Its cultural and symbolic significance, as well as its remarkable alignment with astronomical events, continue to intrigue and fascinate people around the world, making it one of mankind's most iconic archaeological mysteries. Riddle number three, Map of Pyre Reese. The map of Pyre Reis, created in the 16th century, shows surprising cartographic precision for the time. The Pyre Reis map is a famous ancient cartography created by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Pyre Reis. He drew this map in 1513 and it is notable for its unusual accuracy and for containing geographic information for various parts of the known world at that time. The map is drawn on parchment and shows a detailed representation of the coastal regions of the Atlantic, Mediterranean, Africa, Europe, and even parts of South America. What makes it particularly intriguing is that it includes representation of the coast of the South American continent long before official European explorations. One of the most notable features of the Pyre Reese map is the representation of the eastern coast of South America, including the Florida Peninsula and the coastline of South America, which extends as far as Brazil. In addition, the map also surprisingly depicts the west coast of Africa and some islands in the Caribbean. The accuracy of the map has raised questions about how Pyre Reese obtained this information, especially considering that many of the areas depicted had yet to be officially discovered by Europeans. Some theories suggest that Pyre Reese may have used ancient maps, data from unknown explorers, or even information from other cultures. 
despite its remarkable accuracy, the Pyre Reese map should not be considered an exact representation of modern geography. It is a fascinating example of the history of cartography and continues to be the subject of study and debate by historians. Historians, geographers, and enthusiasts of historical mysteries. The map is currently on display at Topkapi Palace in Istanbul, Turkey. A short break in the video to invite you to subscribe to this channel that is full of videos about curiosities, personalities that have marked history and technology, bringing rich content to all audiences of different languages since we have content in English, Portuguese, and Spanish. If you haven't liked this video yet, like, comment, and share and help this channel grow. So now, let's go back to the video that is wonderful and full of curiosities. Puzzle number four, Antikythera Mechanism. A gear device found in a Greek shipwreck from the first century BC, believed to be the oldest known analog computer. The Antikythera Mechanism is an amazing and complex archeological device that was discovered in 1901 in a shipwreck off the Greek island of Antikythera in the Aegean Sea. It is considered one of the oldest known astronomical machines and one of the most enigmatic objects in the history of technology. The mechanism is made up of a series of gears and dials in a bronze case about 33 centimeters high, 17 centimeters wide, and 9 centimeters thick. Originally, it was housed in a wooden box that had deteriorated after being submerged in the sea for centuries. The Antikythera mechanism is believed to have been built between 150 and 100 BC, during the Hellenistic period of ancient Greece. It was designed to calculate astronomical positions, such as the movements of the sun, moon, and other celestial bodies, as well as predict lunar and solar eclipses. The device is a masterpiece of engineering, with at least 30 bronze gears, some of them very small and intricate, and inscriptions that provide information about the positions of the planets and astronomical cycles. It is a unique combination of science and art, representing a surprising technological sophistication for the time it was created. However, the Antikythera mechanism remained a mystery for many years, and the true purpose and function of the device was not fully understood until the late 20th century. The decipherment of the inscriptions and the reconstruction of the gears revealed their astronomical and mathematical purpose. The mechanism represents a remarkable achievement of human knowledge in astronomy and engineering, showing how ancient civilization mastered complex concepts to create an accurate and sophisticated astronomical calculator. The Antikythera mechanism is now one of the most valuable and studied pieces of archaeology and a fascinating testament to the technological and scientific knowledge of ancient civilizations. Riddle number five, the Disk of Festus. The Festus disc is a mysterious Bronze Age relic with an unknown script. The Phaistos disc, also known as the Phaistos disc, is a mysterious archaeological object found in the ancient city of Festus on the island of Crete, Greece. It was discovered by the Italian archaeologist Luigi Pernier in 1908 during excavations at the Minoan Palace of Phaisto, dating from the 2nd millennium BC. The disc is made of baked clay and is about 15 centimeters in diameter and 1.5 centimeters thick. It is covered on both sides by a series of spirally embossed symbols arranged in a spiral that starts from the center of the disc and extends towards its edge. The symbols engraved on the disc of Festus are often referred to as Minoan hieroglyphs, but to this day, the language and meaning of these symbols remain undeciphered. Archaeologists are unsure about the disc's purpose or contents, and several theories have been proposed over the years. One of the most accepted theories is that the disc could be a ritualistic object or a piece of decorative art. Some believe the symbols represent an undeciphered form of script or writing system, while others suggest they may simply be a decorative pattern with no linguistic meaning. The mystery surrounding the Phaistos disc has made it an object of great interest and debate among archaeologists, linguists, and enthusiasts of the ancient past. While its exact meaning remains an enigma, the disc is an important example of Minoan art and culture and contributes to our understanding of the ancient civilizations that inhabited the island of Crete thousands of years ago. Enigma number six, the Enigma of the Pyramids. 
The enigma of the pyramids refers to the set of questions and mysteries surrounding the construction and purpose of the ancient pyramids of Egypt. The three most famous pyramids are those of Cheops, Chephren, and Menkor, located on the plain of Giza, near the city of Cairo. Some of the main puzzles and debates surrounding the pyramids include Construction How did the ancient Egyptians manage to build these massive stone structures thousands of years ago without the use of technology? Modern The most accepted theory is that they used advanced engineering and organizational techniques with a large workforce to lift the stone blocks. Alignment The pyramids have precise astronomical alignments. Some theories suggest that they were designed to align with specific stars or important astronomical events, such as the movement of the stars. Purpose The exact purpose of the pyramids is still the subject of debate. Although it is believed that they were built as tombs for the pharaohs, there are alternative theories, such as that they could have had an astronomical, religious, or symbolic function. Construction Techniques while there is archaeological and written evidence about Egyptian construction techniques such as the use of ramps, the exact way the pyramids were erected and the precision of their construction still generate curiosity. Possible Secret Codes Some researchers have proposed the idea that the pyramids could contain secret chambers or undiscovered passages, which adds an element of mystery to the structures. Despite speculation and theories, many aspects of the pyramids remain unanswered, and the search for the enigma of the pyramids remains a fascinating and intriguing topic for archaeologists, Egyptologists, and ancient history enthusiasts. Ongoing archaeological discoveries and research continue to provide new insights into these stunning wonders of the ancient world. Riddle number 7. The Globe of Nebra the globe of Nebra, a bronze disc with stars and constellations, challenges our understanding of ancient astronomy. The globe of Nebra is a remarkable archaeological artifact that was discovered in 1999 near Nebra, Germany. It is a circular disc made of bronze and measures approximately 32 centimeters in diameter. The object dates from around 1600 BC, belonging to the Bronze Age of Central Europe. The Nebra globe is famous for its astronomical and symbolic importance. It features detailed representations of the sun, moon, and a group of stars that most likely represent the Pleiades star cluster. In addition, there are two curved golden bands on the edge of the disk that are interpreted as representations of the horizon and possibly related to sunrise and sunset. It is believed that the globe of Nebra was used as an astronomical instrument to track lunar and solar cycles. It is considered one of the oldest known objects related to astronomy and may have been used to determine time, predict important astronomical events, or establish calendars for agricultural or ritual activities. The context in which the globe of Nebra was found is remarkable. It was discovered along with other tools and ceremonial objects on a hill called Middleburg in an illegal excavation. The find raised concerns about the artifact's authenticity, but upon further investigation, the Nebra globe was confirmed to be genuine and authentic. The artifact has been considered a World Heritage Site by UNESCO since 2013 and is displayed at the State Museum of Prehistory in Halle, Germany. The Nebra globe is an important piece of evidence that connects us to astronomical knowledge and the rich history of mankind in the Bronze Age. Riddle number 8. The Ancient Astronomical Calendars Ancient calendars show deep astronomical knowledge of ancient civilizations. The ancient astronomical calendars are systems of measuring and recording time that were based on astronomical observations, such as the movement of the sun, moon, and stars. Many ancient civilizations developed astronomical calendars to keep track of the seasons, predict important astronomical events, and establish religious rituals or celebrations. Some of the best known ancient astronomical calendars include 1. Egyptian calendar. The Egyptian calendar was based on the annual floods of the Nile River, which occurred at approximately the same time each year. It had 12 months of 30 days each, with 5 additional days at the end of the year. The Egyptians also observed the movement of the sun and stars to determine the beginning of the seasons. 2. Mayan Calendar The Mayans developed a highly complex and accurate calendar known as the Mayan Sokin Calendar. 
It had 260 days and was used for religious rituals and ceremonial events. In addition, the Mayans also had a solar calendar called the Hob calendar, which had 365 days. 3. Gregorian calendar, the calendar we use today. The Gregorian calendar was introduced by Pope Gregory the 13th in 1582. It is based on the solar cycle with months of varying lengths to better align with the tropic year. 4. Aztec calendar. The Aztecs had two main calendars, the Tanalpawali calendar with 260 days and the Zayapawali calendar with 365 days. Both were combined to form an 18,980-day cycle, known as the ceremonial round. These astronomical calendars had different approaches and purposes, but they were all based on observations of celestial bodies and their relationship to the seasons. They represent the rich understanding ancient civilizations had of the cosmos and the importance they placed on the passage of time and organizing their lives around astronomical events. Riddle number nine, the lens of Nimrud. The Nimrud lens, dating back to 3,000 years ago, has features surprisingly similar to a modern lens. The lens of Nimrud, also known as the lens of Layard, is an intriguing archaeological artifact that was discovered by British archaeologist Sir Austin Henry Layard in 1850 during excavations in Nimrud, present-day Iraq. Nimrud is an ancient Assyrian archaeological site dating back to around 900 years BC. The lens of Nimrud is made of clear rock crystal and is cylindrical in shape, about 9 cm long and 6 cm in diameter. It is carefully carved and polished, with slightly tapered ends. The artifact is notable for its unique optical characteristics. Some researchers believe that the Nimrud lens may have been used as an early optical lens, perhaps to enhance vision or for astronomical observation purposes. The transparency and optical quality of the rock crystal suggest that it could have been used to concentrate or direct light. However, the true purpose of the lens of Nimrud remains an enigma. Some scholars question whether the piece was in fact a lens, as there are no records or conclusive evidence of its optical use in antiquity. Furthermore, it may also have been a decorative or symbolic object, possibly associated with religious or ceremonial practices. Due to the lack of information and precise contexts of its discovery, the lens of Nimrud remains shrouded in mystery and continues to be the subject of speculation and interest to archaeologists and historians alike. Currently, the lens of Nimrud is on display at the British Museum in London, where it can be appreciated as one of the intriguing relics of ancient history. Riddle number 10. The Stone Giants of Easter Island the stone giants of Easter Island refer to the famous stone statues known as Moai, which are scattered around Easter Island, also called Rapa Nui, located in the Pacific Ocean, belonging to Chile. The Moai are monuments carved in volcanic rock and represent human figures with large heads and elongated bodies. They were created by the Rapa Nui civilization between the 11th and 15th centuries and are considered one of the greatest achievements of ancient stone carving. The mystery surrounding the stone giants mainly involves how the Rapa Nui managed to build and transport these huge statues, some of which are up to 10 meters tall and weigh several tons. Given the limited technology available at the time, the task of carving, lifting, and moving the Moai is considered an impressive achievement. Several theories have been proposed to explain the construction of the Moai. Some researchers suggest that the Rapa Nui used stone tools to carve the statues and moved them using spools of logs and rope. Another theory suggests that they may have used balancing and leverage techniques to lift the statues onto their platforms. Another mystery surrounding the Moai is the reason for their construction. They are believed to represent revered ancestors, tribal leaders, or gods important to the Rapa Nui civilization. Also, some Moai have crowns made of red stone called Pukeo, which raises questions about their meaning and symbolism. Rapa Nui culture declined after the construction of the Moai, and many statues were torn down or destroyed during internal conflicts. Today, the stone giants of Easter Island are an important historical and tourist attraction, attracting visitors from all over the world who come to admire and learn more about these impressive ancient sculptures and the fascinating history of Easter Island. 
These ten ancient technologies reveal that our ancestors possessed astounding knowledge and skills that defy modern science. As we move forward in time, it's important to remember that there is still much to learn from the past, as it may hold the answers to our most intriguing questions. Thanks for watching until the end. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe and watch all our amazing videos.